Yo, it's Lizzie, and welcome back to my face. It is officially the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel, so that's like amazing and awesome. Um, I'm at 42 subscribers after a year. That's pretty good considering I haven't been consistent, so thank you all for subscribing and showing all the love. Also, really quick, I want to shout out my video about my special neck condition is at 900 something views so it would be really cool if we could get that to a thousand views before my birthday um which is on february 13th so you have literally three weeks from today that would be really cool if we could do that um as like a birthday present to me um i love that video and i would love for more people to see it so feel free to share it also share this video if you like it so when i was trying to think of a video to do um, for this week, I kept thinking about what's been popular in my sub box, and I'm annoyed by it. So today is going to be a little kind of ranty type video because I'm annoyed. Uh, I go on my timeline, in my subscriptions, and every other video or every seven videos or so is like a hot knife video. I love, and I've watched a few because I love the YouTubers that make it, but I'm tired of seeing people cut things open. What I'm really tired of seeing is people going to the store spending hundreds of dollars on these nice knives and then lighting them, getting them super hot, melting them and getting like stuff crusted and stuck to it and then they probably just throw them away or they just stick them in a drawer somewhere and they won't use them again. This annoys me because I know how expensive knives are. Um, for my knife kit that I got um, from like my culinary school with, um, I had several different pieces in it but just even this 10 inch chef knife alone it was the total set I think was like either $150 or like $250 for these knives and people are buying these knives and I know for a lot of people like for the knives for a culinary program it's expensive and like they have to work extra hours or their family like some, some people can't afford it so to see people just taking these nice knives and burning them because like oh it's satisfying and then they're breathing in these fumes I saw a video recommended for me the other day from Jeffree Star which, by the way, I do not endorse him. I do not endorse his channel in any way or his makeup products. I don't know him personally, so I can't really judge. But just from what I've heard and what I've seen, um, he's not the best person that I would recommend to you guys. There's, if you want to watch amazing people do makeup, there's so many people that aren't um, aren't always digging their graves, such as Glam Life Guru, for instance. Tati makes, I'd say, similar videos, and that she does like. She swatches luxury brands, new brands, she does tutorials, she does how or not, she tests similar expensive products that he does, and she's like one of the sweetest, nicest people, and she's never really like under the bridge for a drama, or there's never like old drama, so if you want someone similar to him, um, I recommend Tati Westbrook, but anyway, he like cut open a Chanel bag with a hot knife, so he's wasting thousands of dollars and I know he has money he can do what he wants but like Chanel bags are expensive designer products in general are expensive so he's buying an expensive knife and using it to kind of cut apart these expensive items and I just personally think that's a waste and yeah it's satisfying and I'll admit the few I've watched where they oh cut open you know different toys or they cut open food items and stuff like it's cool but they're breathing in these fumes that aren't healthy and they're wasting knives, and as someone that, that um, you know, knows what it's like to, um, cause where I am now, we got a new building with new kitchens and stuff in the past few years, but when I first started, we were in like an old kitchen that used to be a classroom and stuff, so I know what it's like to have minimal equipment, and when you have nice things to treat them like that, and I get it, people are doing it cause it's popular, whatever, but, um, and oh, it's satisfying, but I just, Personally, I don't get it. Um, I see why it's satisfying, but I think it's a waste of like a waste of stuff and a waste of money and you're breathing in these unhealthy fumes and I feel like the only reason like people are watching these videos to leave in the comments like you're making the same video as everybody else, but in doing that you're kind of perpetuating you're perpetuating kind of this this theme and I know especially with YouTube analytics being kind of crazy right now people are making what's popular and they're talking about what's pop I'm making a video talking about this because it's popular at the moment and I see it everywhere and I can't avoid it and it's something I wanted to bring up so yeah it's just something that and everybody and their brothers cutting open stress toys cutting open stress toys with a hot knife cutting open this with a hot knife 
it's, I'm just kind of over it and I don't really get the gimmick, I guess in the beginning, but now everyone's doing it all the time. I just personally don't like, oh, you put fire on a knife and cut stuff, like, and it's really dangerous. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it, it's dangerous. And like I said, um, like, I just don't really get the appeal. I see why people say it's like, oh, it's satisfying, but I, me, personally, I think it's a waste of a good knife. And there's people that want to learn how to cook or just starting out in school and they have to buy these expensive knife kits and stuff where you, you have the money and you're just kind of throwing it away. So, um, what I think would be really cool is if everyone that like, that, you know, wastes these items or something would, would maybe donate something. I don't know. I just feel like watching them cut open Chanel bags and like, oh, I'm going to cut open this expensive makeup product and see if it squirts everywhere. Or, oh, I'm going to, and some of it's just like, you know, cut open stuff from the dollar store. Like, I'm going to cut open this food item. That's one thing. When people are buying expensive items just to cut them open to see what will happen. Like, you know, if you stick a flaming knife in a leather purse, it's going to cut through it or it's going to catch fire. Do you really need to see that? Like, that's just common knowledge. So, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think below about this trend. Do you like it? Are you for it? Do you think it's a waste of time and a waste of energy? I just see so many people putting so much effort into these videos. And like I said, I've watched a few from people that I'm subscribed to um, that I watch pretty much every video. So I feel like I'm supposed to and I watch it. And I'm just not like, it's like, oh, you took a hot knife to some like kinetic sand. Like, okay, it would have the same reaction with a cold knife. I don't know, I just, it's dangerous, and like I said, I think it's kind of a waste of a good knife. So sound up in the comments below letting me know what you think. Again, this is no shade or hate to any of the YouTubers that are making these videos, I get it. The view count is crazy right now in analytics and stuff, so you kind of have to stay up with what's popular, to stay relevant, and that's what people are watching, but I think people are watching it because it's what the content you're making. People feel like they have have to make these certain videos because that's what people want to see. But people are only watching these videos because that's the content you're posting. If you suddenly want to do something that's not as popular, you might not get as many views. But you know what? I think it's better to post content that you love and that and that you respond well to creatively than doing something just for views. I know YouTube analytics are crazy and you want to get money or whatever your deal is. And I get that if YouTube is your sole source of income, you want to do things like that. But I just personally think that I would rather watch a video in which someone put their heart and soul into instead of let me take scissors and cut open a stress toy or like let me buy a blowtorch blow and people are doing this like inside of their houses it's just dangerous there's fumes involved and it's a waste of a good knife so yeah I keep ranting but let me know what you think in the comments down below um thank you so much for watching if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up thank you guys for a year of my channel that's like insane and crazy i'm so happy about that but yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're hungry for videos every food friday i know today is not a friday but i had time to film so you're getting a video because i didn't actually post on the past friday so yeah and i will catch up with you guys in my next video without a hot knife stay saucy